What's up, YouTube? I'm actually restarting my episode two of my Banished Let's Play because I've gone through the ringer of trying to organize my achievements and realizing, one, in the first town that I started, there were certain achievements I couldn't get because, one, I had already built a town. Uh, two, I had already started uh, using crop fields. As you'll see here, <laughs> and the other problem is when you finally do get achievements, you can't get them unless you have all mods uninstalled. So at this time, I've deleted all existing maps because none of them will work with no mods because um, I've had mods. So right now I have zero mods installed. As you can see on the screen, zero mods, no mods at all. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to start my town from scratch again. Um, now, it's unfortunate that I lost the content that I did in that f first one, but, um, you know, it is what it is. So, here we go. Brewtown. That's right. And there is an achievement that I believe requires a certain terrain type and whatnot. So, this is obviously, I hate to say it, but this isn't going to be the only town I have to build for this. And the reason being, again, uh, if I go in here and let's talk about this real quick... Obviously, most of the settlements involve time span and population, um, as well as things you've gathered, so on. You know, um, you know, having a certain amount of trading done. So uh, you know, uh, it's it, there's a mishmash of achievements, and because of that, some of them require certain things. So, for instance, mountain men using the harsh climate. And a small mountainous map maintain a population of 50 people for 20 years. Now, that achievement specifically, uh, I can't be achieved doing that and achieving all the other things too. I mean, the map's just going to be probably too small and uh, it's going to be very mountainous, which means it's going to be really difficult to do it. It's a, it's a very hard map and I understand why that's an achievement. Um, so... I might do a separate episode, like I might do separate episodes where I have a town that I work on that one specifically, and then, because I haven't seen anything else that would force me to stop. For instance, uh, 400 citizens without using crops, crop fields, orchards, or pastures. So that means I'm going to have to rely on gatherers, hunters, and fishermen uh, for food. Most of these, see, I can do a lot of these over a long period of time. The problem is unfortunately that one <laughs> build a town that has at least one of every possible structure simultaneously all that stuff a massive builder yep so it seems like mountain men is really the the truly isolated achievement because i can't do that map that small I could totally get away with probably going through the whole harsh climate thing. That probably would be manageable, at least. But the small map is what's going to kill it. So, for now, uh, with this one, this is going to be my main city. It's going to be focused on every achievement other than Mountain Men. And then, from there, I will make another city and another save file that will be focused on solving the Mountain Men achievement. So for now, we'll go ahead, new. This is going to be Brewtown. It's going to be, we're going to go with valleys. We're going to go with a large terrain, a mild climate. Um, actually, we'll change that to fair. Uh, middle of the road, right? Um, disasters are... Should we have disasters on? We should have disasters on. Uh, and starting conditions, we'll leave them at medium. So here we go. It's happened. My new town. See, <laughs> the, the what I was recording previously, I wasn't aware that even with uh, just graphical mods, um, there's no engine to discern what mod qualifies or what doesn't qualify. It he made it flat out the developer. If if there's mods, you're not getting achievements because there's mods that make everything easier for you. So let's pause the game real quick and take a quick peek at our surroundings. So. Very large open area for the first spot. Very nice. Uh, right on, let's see, my river's all the way over here. So that's going to make, you know what, no big deal. Because I'm not going to have a trader until I have like uh, 400 people or something like that. Or 20 years or whatever. Lots of open areas. Not terribly mountainous. Um, is there a good spot? Yep, there's a good spot for putting mines. So a decent amount of trees and resources to start with. 
So, uh, right now, now this is what you start with when you start a new game on medium. You get 200 firewood, you get iron, 120 logs, and 60 stone. So, the first thing, obviously, we typically lay down is we lay down some houses. So let's get to doing that. So we're going to leave the simulation speed on 2, and we're going to get going here. Alright, so house, house... House. I think I need five to start. Oh, where was that one? Where did that one go? Right there? Yeah, that looks about right. So that, and one more. So that's my I, one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to need one more. Um, let's get my menu set up real quick. Put this over here, this over here, and my workers right under here. So... I'll get my houses going here, and then the Mad Dash begins. Okay, so I can't build crop fields. Can't, can't, can't. I'll get in trouble if I do. I won't be able to get my achievement. So, with that said, I have to build a fishing dock and a gatherer's hut ASAP. And I also need to do some harvesting. So I'm going to, like, harvest... I'm just going to mad harvest this area behind here, and... That will help, hopefully, facilitate me get going, getting going here. Um, dirt roads don't cost nothing, so I'll do that real quick. I'll do a dirt road all the way over here. Just, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, five? It's four or five. I don't think you can get that last spot. I think it's... Okay, so I have eight left. One, two, three. I had 19. Yeah, so three left. Okay, so yeah, I will need one more house. And I'm going to throw it opposite this one in my typical one-space fashion, like that. I'm going to bring my road over and around. And that'll be house number five. That should help. That should home everyone in the colony. Now, here's another problem. It's okay. So it's early spring. So I need firewood. I need logs. <laughs> I need everything. Oh, no. Um, so let's get my woodcutter going. The woodcutter is going to be directly across from... Uh, let's do let's do this. Let's do it right here, and then we'll build roads this way. Okay, so let's gauge out what we're gonna need for uh, a gathering hut. Where's food? 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 Gather hut. Um, ooh, that is poopy. Not very happy with that. But I guess we'll do right there because that will do um, the forcing lodge just opposite it, and that should be good. Yeah, that'll be okay right there. I think right, right. Right there. So, um, we're underway. I'm going to need to really hurry up and get some things built here. Um, I'm low on... I have no firewood at the moment. That was quick, by the way. You know, there's, that's the other thing, too, is you have to consider what's in the inventory of the houses. All these houses took some firewood. Got people just standing around. People, you need to get to work. So I think along this run, what I'll do is I will... Bring my road across all the way up here, and I'll put civic buildings in this area. Um, blacksmith, tailor, stuff like that. But I do definitely need to get some food, and that's going to be a priority here. Because I'm going to run out of food if I'm not careful. And they're not building my house, which I don't know why, because I have logs. All right, we're going to step it up to five, because this is already going too slow for my personal taste. Again, I can't build a school, so I can't uh, educate my people, and unfortunately, they go through tools like crazy. I think I'm going to run into the same situation I had in the last game. So, all right, so gatherer. One, two, three, four. All right, so here we go. This is going to be where getting food is going to be important. So let's see how the gatherers do right off the bat. Got some onions. All right, so I, I definitely need to get my fishermen, uh, uh, my fishing dock up. What is the cost on that? 30 and 16. I'm low on logs, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And you know what? I might bring my dock out over here, to be honest. Because I think that would really be... The, I'm going to bring this 
I'm gonna bring this to about here. And then I'm gonna gauge where I need to put my... Because I'm gonna put my fishing dock over here. Because I, I think I'm gonna focus this whole area on residential. Like, this whole area is gonna be very condensed. So that way I can use all these resources to get going. Uh, what am I low on? Logs low. Okay, so... Alright, I think I've got finally got enough logs where I can do this. I, mean, I got two builders. So, let's see here. Um, any of these spots is really good. I'll do it right there. I believe my fishing dock is being built. Coming along nicely. My gatherer is bringing food in. I think I might survive the first year. Which is awesome. So, again, can't build a school. Can't build a crop field or a pasture or uh, an orchard. Uh, until I have... Oh, oh, wrong thing. Uh, until I have... Where is it? Isolation. No, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah, right here. 400 citizens. So, <laughs> these are gonna be tough. What is black... Oh, there's like a little hump here. That is why my road wouldn't build. There's my road. It's gonna be a little uh, roundabout kind of thing going on. Alright, fishermen. Got fishermen. Let's go. Fishermen, fishermen. One, two, three, four. All right, let's get our food booming. Let's get it up there. I think I may build my foresting lodge next. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's do the foresting lodge next. Oh, I thought I placed it. Did I not place it? I thought I placed it. Um, crap, my food is low. All right. I thought I could have sworn I placed it, but I guess I didn't. There we go. All right, now it's placed. I'm going to toss two right into the foresting. Uh, and that's because, you know, I'm, I'm going to need... I'm kind of low on people. It seems like I'm low on people. No, I had 10 and 9. Now I have 16 and 6. Okay, so I'm not horribly low on people. But I'm obviously going to need more houses once again. So let's get right to it with the houses. Right there. And we'll do two more. I... Population is tough in the beginning. You only have so much. And you want to get so much down as quickly as possible. But you can't. So... Got some extra laborers. I'm going to need to get my hunter going soon. And I'm going to need to build my blacksmith. Because I bet you I'm going to run out of tools really quick. So once the... What did I just place? Did I place something? Oh, houses. Once the houses are done building, I'm going to, I'm going to put my blacksmith uh, up. And uh, I should probably do some harvesting while, I can, while I've got the free time. Um... My stockpile is 60% full. Okay. You know, you have to build another stockpile so quick. Which means you have to decide on placement. Pain in the butt. Alright, so I think I'm going to put... Whoa, that was like crazy. Did you see that? All of a sudden it turned into winter. Like, all of a sudden. Alright, so I think I'm going to put my stockpile over here. Uh, 6 by... How about 6 by 8? 6 by 10. Alright, so now I don't have to worry. I can go ahead and harvest to my heart's content. Uh, I do have a fairly large stockpile set up uh, as a secondary. More people. Asking you shall receive. I just got another laborer. Cheers! I like how they put the... how the developer put the counter in when you're placing. So you don't have to manually count it. You can just look at the screen and as you can see, it changes based on the number of tiles you've done. So that's cool. I really like that. It's the little things. It's the little things that make a big difference. All right, so my food seems to be okay, although I am going to be pushing, 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 pushing my population here. Things are fairly balanced out at the moment. I haven't built my blacksmith yet, and I only have 17 tools left, so this is, that's probably going to be my next, uh, my next half to. Um, blacksmith. Oh no, my food is low. Crap to build another fishing dock already, I think. So there's my cabin. My blacksmith is going up. I do like how it's building trees. It's, so, I'll, uh, you know, it's, what's cool is as long as I leave some space, I'll still be able to kind of build in this area because they will still grow trees and they will still harvest them. Now, there won't be as much land, and I kind of knew that uh, when I picked this area that this was going to be over here a problem area, but um, I do like... Uh, I did explain in my first episode, I do like it when... Um, 
I can get some of the land. Because that's, that's one of the things that's lacking um, for long-term play, in my opinion, is being able to put trees and stones, like decorative, uh, uh, aesthetic pieces to the town. Um, so, and one of the things I do have to try to do here, too, is I'm gonna, it's going to be building 20 wells. That's going to be required um, for an achievement um, as well. Is there even a spot to do a, a, span, a bridge with a span of 50? Um, there, okay, so there's no lake down there. Is there a lake up here? Yes, there is a lake. Okay, so that will be what will help me with the uh, the bridge achievement. I'll need to build a bridge with 50. That's that's what I did in the last recording I just did, my botched episode 2, was I built a bridge with 55... That was 55 long, um, and it, it would have procced an achievement had I not had mods on. Okay, so my hunter's up too, so I'm going to toss, um, jeez, I'm low on people. Uh, I'm going to toss two into my hunter. That should help with my food as well, because they'll start bringing in some venison. Alright, so I'm at autumn of year two. Um, the town's pretty stable at the moment. I will again. This will be a long series if I were not to play off screen. So I will be playing off screen. So when I come back uh, at the beginning of each episode, I will recap what I did. Unfortunately, at the beginning of this episode was me recapping the fact that I screwed up and had to restart. Uh, but we're still going. Town's the same name. It's cool. We're all good. Um, so yeah, this is Brewtown. And my food is low, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I think once my hunter starts contributing more, it should be okay. But for now, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like what you saw, come back for more. Uh, I have a Creativeverse Let's Play that I also do. Um, and if you get a chance, check out Omni Simmer. She is my wife. She's got Sims Let's Plays, Walking Dead, Fable, uh, Anniversary she just started, as well as she is trying uh, her hand at Creativeverse. So we might end up doing something uh, together at some point with Creativeverse, playing in the same uh, world or something. So, uh, you know, check it out when it comes out, and uh, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up and click on the bottom left to subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, click the video links to the right. Thanks again for watching.